everybody. This is Coach Sassy coming at you with the Magic Minute. This is a different kind of Magic Minute, right? You don't usually cry on Facebook? Oh. <laughs> this is a chance for you to see the unsparkly me. Um, so I was posting my morning picture of my workout today, and I had a great workout, because, hey, I have a school delay today. And as I'm looking at on my phone and posting pictures, um, a picture came from my phone from two years ago, today, and it kind of shocked me because um, it was a picture of me uh, 18 years ago when I had found out that I had cancer, and I only have one picture of myself when I was sick. I didn't want any memories of that time but I found the picture on my phone I'll probably post it tomorrow um, yeah every year I try to celebrate that time of my life with something special so I can remember exactly where I was 18 years ago today 18 years ago today, I had walked into a hospital thinking I had walking pneumonia because I had been sick for a few months, couldn't get better. And they told me that day that, um, that I had cancer and I had to have a bone marrow tap and some tests for my heart. And I had a surgical biopsy that day and I was diagnosed with stage three non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it was one of the most frightening times in my life. I was student teaching, I was engaged, I was supposed to be getting married in a couple months. And I thought my world, it just came crashing down. That was just such a not normal day. So, you know, I, this morning I was feeling really happy because it was a really special day for me at school and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But when I saw that picture on my phone, it's amazing how memories come back when you think. At that time, I thought my life would never be normal again. Never. But today, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my dirty breakfast dishes and taking my vitamins and looking like crap for my workout. And You know what? Today is just going to be a normal day. And that is the most awesome feeling for anyone who's ever gone through this. That you think, 18 years ago, I thought I would never be in this place. I didn't even know if I'd be here. You know, and... But I am. I went and had a baby. Went and had a kid. She's awesome. And, you know, found my dream job teaching. And, wow, well, then I did something crazy and decided to finally have my own business and help other people so that they can find happiness and joy. And that's exactly uh, what I feel all the time. Today, I have a really exciting visit from a representative from the American Federation of Teachers who um, is coming to do a site visit at my school because we've helped 800 little kids get excited about eating healthy and being fit at uh, yeah, 18 years ago. It certainly wasn't fit, wasn't healthy. So today is truly, truly a blessing. And this was just a little something I wanted to share with you because um, you know I share the rest of my life on Facebook and uh, all the happy things and sometimes everybody needs to see the other side of you you know the real side the one that still has fears and worries and things like that but not today today I'm just gonna celebrate the fact that it's gonna be like a really nice and normal day um, it's gonna be a great week because I'm just gonna look at every day as such a blessing compared to where I was such a long time ago um, so if this message uh, it's not meant to make you sad. It's kind of meant to make you think about, you know, where your life is and where, you know, can you see your life in, in three years, in, in four years, in five years for a long time. That's all I can look at my life in these little chunks. And if you thought, how do I take control back of my life? How do I get, how do I get started on just changing my life? Wouldn't it be better to do it now than to wait until something like earth shattering, like cancer slaps you in the face? Maybe. I just think it's a good idea. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that little note with you today. It just kind of overwhelmed me. I thought I had to share it on Facebook that 
it's just never too late to start your own journey because you just don't want to wait. You just don't know what's going to be around the corner when you least expect it. So um, with that, didn't, make, didn't want to make anybody sad this morning, but I did want to just share my, my thoughts and my heart this morning with you. So to my Facebook family, I'm going to go upstairs now and definitely try to stay sparkly today and celebrate knowing where my strong and healthy body has taken me in the last 18 years. That's the Hannity Dynamic. I'll see you next time.